Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Majora's Mask. In the last episode we went ahead and uh, cleared out Stonehead. And now Stonehead is 100% good with everything. Except side quests. There are plenty of side quests to do here at Stonehead, so uh, let's go ahead and do some of them. Still a little bit snowy over here on this side of the hill. You can go up to Stonehead, but uh, we don't need to do that. Now there are actually several things that we could do here. And, um, at the end of this, I mean, not at the end of this episode, but, like, in the middle of this episode, I'm going to be jump, jump cutting because we're going to have to go back in time. I'm going to have to kill Goat once more. But, uh, you won't have to deal with that. I'll, I'll go ahead and do that myself. First thing, though, that we gotta do is we gotta go and get our giant bomb license, our keg license. Because, you see, actually, we should go ahead and... I can go ahead and show you that. At least I think I can right now. I think we've already, like, been up in that area, but, uh, I can show you it now, just to make you see what I'm talking about. The wolfos are back to being normal wolfos. Wolfos now. Okay, so... Hello there, baby! Ah, Darmy! Now that it's nice and warm out, it's much, much better. Even if my daddy isn't right beside me, I won't be selfish and cry. So, now that spring has come, the Goron races should be starting soon. But... This rock is in the way, so I can't get in to see the race. And spring's just started, too. I was so excited, but there's nothing I can do. I hate it, I hate it, I want to see it, I want to see it, I want to see the race. So... We gotta go ahead and blow up this rock for the baby here. We also need to do that in order to actually complete the game, because we do need our keg license. We will need kegs for something that we'll be doing relatively shortly, as a matter of fact. Now, whoop! I died. Now, I might as well just do this as a normal human link. Um, wait. Oh! I'm already here. If you beat the races, you get gold dust. I do not know if you, uh, when you get gold dust, if you go back in time, if it will disappear. I'm a little bit worried about that. So actually, I'm thinking I may not go back in time. I have no idea. Like, I, I shouldn't, I should, really should have Googled this, actually. But, whatever. There's a heart piece over there. Oh yeah, I gotta deal with you later on, don't I? I can do that later. Okay, um... I could technically do that now, though. Maybe I'll do that off-screen as well. Um, over here somewhere. There he is! We gotta go up here... ...and talk to another Goron. Let's go ahead and be a Goron for this, though. I'll go ahead and break this. Gah! Hit your boxes, asshole! Hey, it's Biggeron! Which we can't get near. I am the Goron who sells the powder keg, the most famous product of the Gorons. Want a powder keg? Powder kegs will explode with powerful blasts and are very dangerous. Till I have tested you to see if you can use them properly, I can't let you use any on your own. Will you give it a try? If you can destroy the boulder that blocks the entrance of the Goron racetrack near here, using the powder keg I'm about to give you, I'll approve you to carry them. That looks very dangerous to just slam your hand down and summon them. When the powder keg begins ticking faster, it means it's about to explode. Try to blow up the boulder, blocking the Goron racetrack instance without the powder keg exploding along the way. There is a sign near the racetrack, so keep an eye out for it. When you're finished, come see me. Okay, so now we have this, and the way that we want to do this, because we can't walk up these, we have to roll up them, is we gotta throw it up these, uh, cliffs here. Whoop! You don't- you want to be very careful with the powder keg. This is like the- this is like one of the only times you really have to do this, though. Like, next- the other times where you use the powder keg, you don't, like, carry it everywhere like this. It's in your inventory. So. Alright. Now we're going over here. Actually, I think I'm taking a long way. You got- you should have plenty of time. It- it does- it is a timed bomb. So it'll- it's, you know, on fire right now, but it shouldn't explode, you know, in your hands. Unless you're being really dumb with it. Alright. 
Yeah, see? Quick way up. We're already halfway there! Now, the problem with this is that there are wolfos here. And that can happen. That can happen very commonly. I'm pretty sure they respawn. Also, they're Gwei, and Gwei are assholes. We just punch a bird right out of the sky. Fighting type doesn't beat bird type. What the hell are you? Bird type? What? You mean missing no? Jokes, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go over here, go back to the Goron. I screwed up. No jump cutting quite yet. You have to be a human to get up here. That's really weird. That's terrible design. Alright. Bump. Bump. Hey there. You failed? In that case, I can't approve you. Will you get to take the challenge again? Just give me unlimited power kegs. Powder kegs. Excuse me. Power kegs. Power kegs! Power thirst. Alright. So it's not that difficult, but it can be, like, a little bit tricky. It may take you multiple tries, and if it does... Just keep at it, because you do need to do this. Because, uh, what other giant boulder do we know of that we need to blow up? Huh. Well, there is a giant boulder in front of the, uh, Romani Ranch. That could be important to blow up. It, get, it disappears on the third day, but everyone is weird and strange. So maybe we should find out what's wrong with them on the first day. And maybe we can change things from occurring. Um... Possibly. Okay, now the way I'm going to do this... Is I'm going to not take it near the wolfos. I'm going to go ahead and drop it here. And then go fight the wolfos. There we go. I think the wolfos is weaker than the white wolfos, actually. There we go. That was, like, unbelievable overkill. Oh, I can't pick this up as human link. Okay. Gotta be careful, though. Let me blow up Tingle with this bomb. That's a good idea. Hey, Tingle, watch this for me, will ya? Appreciate it. Oh. What the hell? Taking multiple hits? How dare you? You're... What the hell? What a dick! Okay, you're just wasting my time, you asshole. This thing's timed, you know that. Did it on purpose. Oh, there's a Gwei here. Do not catch me, Gwei. Back off, Gwei. Oh, it's ticking faster. It's about to explode. Come on, I'm so close! Ah! What the hell? Well, I blew up a hole in the floor, I didn't mean to do that. What's down here? <laughs> that yell. What is this? Oh, bomb juice! Oh, I don't even think I had bomb juice. Well, that's kind of cool, I guess. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and, uh, cut, skip, jump. Oh, what am I, Annie? I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and, and jump cut to when I actually get the bomb up there. So, uh, bye! Ow. Seriously? Oh, thank God. Jesus, that took me so long. Oh, God. Man, my heart is thumping. Okay. She, he just, he just waddled right through me, like, sideways. The hell? Oh, goodness gracious. What time am I at? I've been recording for 17 minutes. Okay. Well then. Hi there. Ah, uh, Darmy, we've been waiting for you. See, everyone's restless because they can't wait to enter. You're gonna enter, aren't you? Yep. <laughs> you have to. I want to show everyone how Darmy races. If your magic power runs low, charge in one of the green jars. Okay. 
Welcome to Goron Racing. This is also really annoying. Like, this is a terrible, terrible, terribly annoying, uh, side mission. Like, where the hell did I just suddenly stop going? There we go. Okay, now, basically, you gotta freaking beat all of these guys in order to get your item. I hope I keep the item, by the way. If I don't keep the item, then it can go F itself for like a year. Like, I am not getting that item if I have to freaking get it twice. Yo, serious. Oh, wait, I already mentioned it's gold dust. Freaking asshole Gorons. Oh, no, I have completely messed up this race. And there is no way I'm going to be able to beat this race now. I don't know why that knocked me off and not like any of the others. That's a little stupid, but whatever. Now I'm in the last place. And there are no more green jars, so now I'm going super slow. Dicks! <laughs> Man, I am terrible at this race. I'm going to need a little bit of practice. Thankfully, I got like three days. Well, one day, I should say. I got plenty of time, but what is it with me? Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm going backwards, too. I think you have to do three rounds of this crap, and uh, I, I can already tell you it's going to take me a year. What is it with me and, like, all the things that happen after you beat the, uh... Af after you beat the, um... What is it called? After you beat the temple, basically you have, like, mini-games after that, right? Just a little stiff because winter was so long. You're not really like this. Remember how good you really are. Try it again. Okay. Thankfully, the races never, ever seem to go away, and no one else wins, so... Whatever. They're like, oh yeah, Darhani was stiff, so let's... Oh. Okay, but, like, all the things in the beginning, like, I seem to, like, af after the temple's end, I seem to suck at. Because I was terrible trying to race the Deku guy. I'm terrible at this. I was terrible at finding the freaking, um, I mean, terrible at bringing the powder keg. I'm terrible at all of these. Like, so terrible. I don't know why breaking that pot didn't give me any magic, but okay. Whatever boats or float, buddy. I really could have used that magic. Also, what the hell? Why'd he knock me out of speed? Look at that, it's bullshit! God, this is annoying. Okay, I have a, I have officially lost this race, dude. And it's a really long race! A really long race. Oh, dick. Oh, asshole. Like, it's a super long race. There's no way I'm going to be able to get this. Oh my god! Okay, I'm not going over that ever again, because that's the second time I've done that. Just go the other way. Uh, this this always reminded me of, um... Star Wars. The first, the first episode of Star Wars, for some reason. That, uh, pod race. Also kind of reminded me of the pod racing game. The Star Wars pod racing game. Okay, let's see if I can't, like, see how this goes. Okay, so dodge that and just go over it. There you go. Okay. I have officially lost that. You're not really like this. Okay, I'm gonna have to start jump cutting, like... If I fail this one, I'll jump cut to when I actually get it. Alright. Why did it do it again? Jump cut! <sighs> well, I reached second place. Okay, that was actually from the one where I yelled out jump cut. Oh, goodness. Okay, strategy guy, give me tips. Now, I'll probably- I'll jump cut again, but give me tips. Where is it? Doo doo doo. Come on, I was just looking at you. Go around races. Curl up into a ball, you roll the track, maintaining speed, hitting the pots as you go. The first time you win the race- Oh, it doesn't even give me any kind of 
during the winding uphill climb, if you're not careful, you get bumped, you may fall off and end in the back of the pack. That is exactly what happened. You may have to do a little nudging yourself to win. The best place to wipe out the competition and secure the victory is in the final turn, right before the stretch. Okay. Well, I very nearly won that one, and I actually got knocked back, so, uh, let's try again. Jump cut. What the f There's no way you can win now. Well, at least they tell me that. Oh, oh, frick. Oh, no, I didn't want to- Oh, now I gotta wait. Okay, well, at least they're kind. Who's this straggler way back here? Wow, you are slow, buddy. You are slower than me. It's okay, I'll race you. Come on, we can do this together. We, we can lose this together. Come on, man. We, you're better than this. Come on, man, you're better than this. Come on, bro! God, what is wrong with you? They, it's like they let in a guy with, like, broken legs into the race. Ugh. Well, trying that again. Holy shit, I did it! Yes! 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 This is from Daddy, it's the prize. We got some gold dust. Alright. Well, getting the hell out of here. <laughs> getting the hell out of Dodge. Goodness. I thought I was doomed, like, I got knocked back into last place, but I managed to get it back, so... If you do screw up, it's not over. That's something to keep in mind of. Alright. Well, we're pretty much done here, and uh, I really hope this gold dust does not leave my inventory. I'm so afraid that it does. <sighs> what else can I do? Hmm. I think that's about it for this. So I'm going to go back to Clock Town and uh, make Tom go back. No, that's not. No, that's not it. Nope. <laughs> I haven't played this game in a few months. Um. Down, left, up. Okay. What the hell? It sounds so much different on bongos. Alright, well. Soar back, put away some of my money. And then we should be good. Let's go ahead and uh, leave. Lettuce leaves. I really, really hope that my gold dust stays. Like, I really hope. Alright. Well, we will see. I'm going the wrong direction. Apparently that dog doesn't like Gorons either. I know he runs away from you if you get near him, though. He growls at you, but then runs away if you get near him. I think he likes Zoras. But he doesn't like Deku, and he doesn't like Gorons. I like how the ink stays on me. Like, as a Goron. Alright! How much, how much, how much? Oh, my good sir. I'm sure that'll be a lot, a lot, a lot! Alright. Well, little guy, here's your special reward! Five rupees! I'm not even gonna bother putting that in the bank. Moment of truth, ladies and gentlemen! Moment of truth. We're going back to dawn of the first day after finally defeating the Snowhead Temple. Even if we don't, we can all, we can just continue with the game. It doesn't matter. Like I was just going to try and get something special, but you may have to. Uh... Oh, my man, that would be really difficult, though. Like I've I've done it before. The quickest way to the ocean is through the West Gate. I do not have my gold! Mother f God, I gotta do both, both of those things again. Both of them. Well, guess what I'm not doing? 
That's what I thought. Okay. I guess what I'm not doing right now. I can do that later. In fact, I'll do, I'll do that like much later. Um. Well, I'll do that after I do this side quest. So basically, well, it's not a side quest. It's required. It's a pretty long one, though. All right. So here we are at the bomb shop. Hey there, buddy. Oh, of all places, you're a grown, so you can carry powder kegs, right? Do you mean you haven't been approved? Whoa, whoa, mother! Oh god. I forgot to go get my certification to use bombs. Well, looks like I am going to do that off screen. This is going to be a short episode. <sighs> so. I'ma go do that off screen. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time for more Let's Play Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. See you all then.